Well, segregation is, is the key word. Uh, people don't relate to that now, uh, and they, they don't remember, but, but that's what it was in the 50s. I remember segregation. I remember the deplorable economic conditions, the, the poverty, the, the, the people that came to see my dad. He was a doctor. Uh, they couldn't pay him. They'd pay him with chickens and spinach and, you know, frijoles and whatever else they could. Or they'd say, pues te pago mañana o después or whenever. Sometimes we would wake up, uh, particularly on, on, on Sunday mornings or Monday mornings, uh, and I guess it was related to the drinking and the violence in our community because a block away from my house, the, the bar section began. All the cantinas, of course, there's very few left there now, but all of that was cantinas, every single one of them. Maybe Cristal had 40, 50 bars, uh, not all right there in, in Mexico Grande, but also in Mexico Chico, there were about three or four other bars over there. Uh, and on, on, on Sunday mornings and on Monday mornings, it was not unusual for my father or my mother first to open the front door to get the newspaper or just open the front door to fresh air or whatever and find a body, uh, either a person you know, injured or, or dead uh, there on, in, in our doorstep. And sometimes my father would think that it was the actual police who would just dump the bodies there because the reason they left them there is so that my, daughter, my father could fix them up. <laughs> Now, my father didn't have hospital privileges, so he had to do everything there at the house. Uh, and, and that was really shocking. I remember those very graphically seeing those, those, those images, you know, of, of people hurt and there uh, waiting for, for my father to come out the door and see him and take care of them. But it was almost the unwritten rule that if it's, it was his job to take care of the Mexicans that somebody else got hurt or beat up or, or intentionally hurt them. We had our own culture in the street. And at school, we had to be Anglos. If you were Mexican or Chicano, that wouldn't fly, and, and it was punished. You know, you get beat up, spanked for speaking Spanish, or your mouth washed out, and you couldn't bring your food, you had to sit in the back. I mean, three different worlds. So I had to be Mexican at home and say, you know, canalla, <laughs> 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 and in the street, it was, hey, wake, chica tries, you know, you know, these other Chicano talks, or, or, or chica mex, or Spanglish. The, the ability to, to function in Spanish and think and the ability to function in English and think uh, was a tremendous asset. But those are learned. Those are learned.